but I was scratching. Aw, oh, man. This game is stupid. Fire! <clears throat> it seems that chattering endlessly at the mouth <laughs> no longer requires the use of the brain. Otherwise, this class would be silent. Well, at least judging from the results of yesterday's pop quiz. Yeah, I know this is math class, but could you try speaking English? I'll attempt to spell it out for you, kiddo. D minus. Come here. Ah, F minus. Rats! Big deal. If it wasn't for our little smarty pants robot here and his A pluses tilting the curve, this would undoubtedly be the dumbest class I've ever had. Jeez, robot, how do you always get A's? It is not a challenge. I simply provide the correct answers to the questions. Well, 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 I guess my tests are too easy for the robot, huh? Next, you're going to tell us that you think that you're smarter than the teacher. I am a robot and cannot think in the conventional sense. However, I know that I am smarter than you because it is a fact. Ooh. Oh, really? Well, I was once told that I had one of the greatest minds in the world for mathematics. Hmm. Negative. You must be mistaken. Or maybe you've made a mistake, Robot Jones. A big mistake. I do not make mistakes. <laughs> he played you. Oh, man, did he play you. Detention! Detention is no fun. Yeah, detention's definitely a dud. But it was worth it just to see you make Mr. Mick 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 look so stupid. Mr. Mick 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 may look stupid to be, but he is not. Oh yeah? Then how'd you explain that mustache? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, now settle down, settle down, class, settle down. What you see before you students is an impossibly hard math problem. Brought to you directly from the wild intellect of yours truly. Thank you. It's worth the hundred points of extra credit. Although I know none of you are smart enough to get it right. Aww. Excuse me, Mr. Make, Make, Make. But I believe you have made an error. Well, I doubt it, Jones. But if you think you can solve it, you're welcome to try. I was not referring to your assessment with the class's intelligence, but to the problem itself. It seems you have switched the coaxial rotation altitudes of mostly theory of negative polar couplings. That's all. Perhaps you should stick to problems that are more suited to your sixth grade level of development. I am confused, QP. I answered the questions correctly and truthfully, but we keep on getting sent to detention. Don't you get it, robot? He's jealous of you! He wishes he was as smart as you. I hope you little Weisenheimers learned some manners in detention and it took some time to reflect on your actions. Actually, I would like to apologize. A class, class, settle down. Now, Robot Jones has something to say. <laughs> Go ahead, Robot. I am very sorry that you are jealous of me and wish that you were as smart as I am. As pointed out, I took the liberty of procuring you a tutor. It is not as advanced as I am, but for your early stages of development, it should do just fine. That's it! That's it, Jones! We're gonna settle this the old-fashioned way! Math challenge! Math challenge? Math challenge? Math challenge! Math challenge! 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 Wow, kids, this is serious. He done called forth the ancient ride of math challenge. Hang on to your hats and glasses, because this looks to be a wild ride. Uh, ooh, 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 what, what? Ooh. Uh, challenge. Who's ready for a math challenge? For those of you who don't know what a math challenge is, here are the rules. There are three math clues hidden around the school. Each contestant must choose one partner to help hunt for the math clues. I pick Clancy. Don't worry, robot. I'll be your partner. 
Each math clue will reveal where the next clue is located. The first team to finish all the clues first will be declared a certified math genius of Polly New Middle School. I hold in my hand the first two clues of the competition. Ooh, you better get rolling, Robot Jones. <laughs> The answer is 510. 510? What does that mean? We're doomed! We'll never figure that out! It's impossible! Actually, the solution is simple. The number 510 is the Dewey Decimal Number for mathematics. Therefore, by process of elimination... Quick, the library! Fiddly sticks! I can't figure this out. It must be broken. Why don't you let me give it a try? <laughs> Clancy, my boy, I think I just figured it out. Social studies, art, literature, science, math. That is it. D equals 10 plus T-I-O-N? Ah, horrible rules! What could it possibly mean? <sighs> D equals 10 plus T-I-O-N. Duh, it's detention! Off to the... Thanks for the hot tip, boys. On, Clancy, to the detention hall. Outsmart my faithful steed. Ah! Almost there. <gasps> Looking for this. <laughs> the last clue. <laughs> See you, boys. Have fun figuring out that clue. Oh, man. The win now for sure! What are we gonna do with this crud? Ooh. Well? It is a three-part math problem. The answers are 7, 25, and 13. <gasps> Wait, that sounds like a cryptogram. G is the seventh letter of the alphabet, Y is the 25th, and 13 must equal M. Jim, the answer is Jim, to the gymnasium. They're almost there. Jump on, robot, we'll catch him on my skates. <laughs> Analysis. If I win the math challenge, I will have proved that I am smarter. But then Mr. McMickmick would be so angry that it could only lead to more detention. Conclusion. Winning. Is illogical. I hereby pronounce you the certified math genius of Polly New Middle School. Excuse me, Mr. McMickmick. I wanted to congratulate you on winning the race, proving that you truly do have one of the greatest minds for mathematics. Well, Jones, <laughs> I'm glad to see you finally come around to see the truth. Maybe next time you won't be so quick to judge, huh? Yeah! 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 Well, he still looks stupid. See you later, on robot. Data log entry. It seems that the hardest equations to figure out are that of the human condition. I guess some adults constantly need reassurance that they are more efficient than everyone else, especially when they are not. Does anyone have the answer to the first problem? Anyone? Uh, hello, anyone? Oh, not even you, Jones? No. Um, 
uh, Mr. Mick Mick Mick? Uh, yes. QB? Uh, is it seven? Well, 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 yeah, yes. Well, yes, it is. Well, very good, QB. Well, you see, Mr. Jones, not only am I the certified math genius of Polly New Middle School, well, thank you, but I am such a great teacher, uh, if I say so myself. Oh, that robot, Jones. He can't win for losing. <laughs> well, good night, America. Thanks.